Hello everyone, this is Angie at Chicken Scratch and today is Tuesday, May 9th. Uh, let me know if you can hear me, if you're watching this live. Okay, I just saw a thumbs up. Hi, Julie. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to warn y'all, it's storming outside right now, so you're going to probably hear some thunder and you might see lightning ricochet I don't know hopefully it's not going to get too loud and you might hear the gutter and the rain falling too we've been hoping for rain all day and then it finally shows up about 15 minutes ago so how are y'all doing are you doing good Hi there. So the sound is good. Hi Cliffy, you're very welcome. Um, hi Kathy. Okay, so let's give everybody about, oh, am I late? Hmm. Surely I haven't been sitting here staring at the camera for three minutes, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the um, instant prizes for tonight. So I'm gonna put the link to go enter to win um, the instant chick candy. Let me get my keyboard, copy. So in the comment section or in the chat box, so if you're on Facebook, it's gonna be in the comments. And if you're on YouTube, it's in the chat box. This is for the live people, the live people. If you're watching this live, if you're watching the recording afterwards, of course, it's already happened. But there's the link to go enter to win. And I'm going to show you those three items now. So um, when I placed my order for the new product, um, let me put my face in the corner. Let's see. I'm talking like y'all can see what I'm doing. There we go. Um, I accidentally ordered... Uh, duplicates of some ink pads because we were allowed to order the bundle but then I accidentally ordered I don't know how it happened there was the the list was really difficult this time so I have extra brand new ink pads so instant chick candy tonight the first one's going to be a lost lagoon ink pad the second one is pretty peacock and the third one is lemon lolly and all you have to do is um, fill out that form. In fact, let me put the, um, here's the link if you guys wanna take a look at that. I'm gonna mute my notifications now. Okay, any questions before we get started? Hmm. Um, okay. <laughs> I, um, I deleted that, that comment that was kind of wonky wonk. So, so tonight we are doing things a little bit different. Um, I announced last week, well, let me take that off the screen. I announced last week um, that I was having a stamp class, Hi Ramona, uh, for the entire month of May. And this is, I mean, I've done stamp classes on and off, on and off. Y'all know that. I've been around forever. Um, and I decided that what I was going to do is offer this class uh, free with an order for the whole month. And then at the end of the month, I'll place the order and then cut everything and ship it out. So it, it isn't something that you're gonna get instantly because I've, right now I'm cutting for Card Club and Designer Series Paper Shares and Ribbon Shares. And yeah, so it's gonna, the host code is gonna be open all month. And here's the host code. If you place a $35 order, you get the supplies to make the projects. And if you place a $50 order, you either will get ribbon or an embellishment. And I think I can safely tell you, you you'll be getting the ribbon because I didn't even use an embellishment on this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take that off the screen. All the details are 
already over on my website. And originally I was not going, I am on YouTube right now. Yeah, I'm on both, Denise. You scared me for just a second. Yeah, I'm I'm on YouTube and Facebook at the exact same time. Yay. Um, What was I saying? I am not going to Norway. Someone just asked if I'm going on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. I did earn it, um, but I am not going. And if you know me, you know I don't travel well to other countries. Um, my, I'm just, I, I don't know what it is about me. I'm a wimp. I don't travel well. Um, all my friends know that. I, I'm a, a creature of habit, and when I'm outside of my home, I'm very awkward and I don't know. I like I, there's like a whole list of things, but uh, I do plan on going on the Mexico trip next year. Yeah, so I have earned that. So yes, I will be going next year if if it's in God's plans. Because I do that is a trip that is not like an eight hour time difference, and it's not going to take 24 hours to get there. Because like living in Kansas, going to another country. It's like we have to go to a major city to then go to the other country. So it's like around the whole world just to get to somewhere. Hi there. Uh, I do like Aruba. And that's just a one hour time difference. And it's only like four hours there. Uh, this, this is not... So Card Club is Card Club. This is Stamp Class. So this is not a subscription. This is free. Um... As long as you use the host code, yeah. And all the details are listed over on my website. Um, Danielle says, is the card, let's see, I missed it. It's, it disappeared. Is the card club a subscription? Yes, card club is a subscription and it's a recurrent payment. So uh, when you sign up, it'll charge you every month on the 5th until you stop the subscription. Or you can email me, like some people skip months, so they'll just email me and say, I wanna skip this month, and I'll just put it on hold. So it's it's pretty easy process. The website, my website is pretty, um, pretty easy to do, so I'm quite pleased with it. Yeah, Card Club is going really well too, and I just, oh my gosh, it's, it's like I've done card clubs or stamp clubs or things like that in the past before and the paperwork was kind of a nightmare. The, it, there was just parts of it that were so difficult to master and technology has just gotten so much better in the years. Um, yeah, so my website handles the recurrent payments and um, the website that we're using for the content, it's easy for everyone to log in. So yeah, everything's going really well. Um, okay, so I'm going to get started because it is going to probably take us a little bit uh, longer for tonight uh, because we are making all three projects. Um, oh, Stephanie, you're here. I'm sorry, Tracy, I won't be on the ship. Yeah, everyone, I haven't really told many people that I'm not going, but you can just bank on if it's anything that's like greater than a five hour time change, change I'm not going. <laughs> Can't do it. I'm a wimp. Okay, so these are the three projects um, that for stamp class. And like I said, all the details are already over on my blog. So you can read the specifics of what host code to use because I do have my regular host code. Uh, and they cannot be combined. Okay, so let's start with this card. What I did was I went ahead and did a few things in advance because I didn't want to keep y'all all night long. Now, I want to make sure that you know there will be no stamping in your packets. If you qualify for this, we are not allowed as Stampin' Up! demonstrators to stamp your images. So you will need this stamp set and the dies to make your projects because I do all the die cutting for you with the exception of the die cuts that coordinate with the stamp set because we're not allowed to stamp our, our images. So you are gonna need the Zany Zoo dies and um, the Zany Zoo stamp set. And I think, I think the dies are probably on low inventory because originally I wasn't even gonna show the projects. I was just gonna make it kind of a I was just going to share the sneak peek and then 
Gurr, I looked at the list and I'm like, oh great, they're already on low inventory. I better just go ahead and show everybody everything now. And um, yeah, okay. So I'm going to add these strips of designer series paper like that. And tonight I'm going to use a combination of my Stampin' Seal and uh, my liquid glue. And the reason I'm using a little bit of Stampin' Seal is I've, I've had um, numerous people ask how to use it, that they're struggling. And I thought, well, I do have a tip because it does work. And I have shown it several times, um, but I'm showing you again tonight. So the silicone craft sheet is the perfect solution to using the um now i really prefer to use liquid glue when i'm doing layers like this because if i put it in the wrong spot i have some wiggle room but um we're just gonna hope and pray that i don't mess up right <laughs> maybe i should have used liquid glue on this part i'm awful brave tonight now i'm like Ugh, holding my breath okay This is a card layout that I have made before. So um, the, the uh, stamp classes that I plan on doing for the rest of the year is not like gonna be like new creations. Although what has not already been done before out there in the crafting world, right? Okay, so that layer is done and I'm just gonna attach it to the card front. This is Lemon Lime Twist. Ah, I ran out. Okay, so the perfect time to show you how to replace this. Uh, Jill, I don't have my adhesive kits available right now, uh, but I plan on doing them again very soon. In fact, I'm going to have two options. I've been working on some more um, uh, fabric baskets, and so I'm going to have an option of either getting the um, little clear clear bags or a fabric basket yeah I've been working on them I promised everyone that I would offer them again uh, quickly or soon so I've been working on them as time allows right now I'm crazy like losing my mind with cutting for paper shares and um, card club and ribbon shares yeah so okay there's that then this is gonna go right in the middle this is using these stylus shape dies. We are using a handful. I mean, a handful of dies. Let me show you. Um, so, stylus shape dies, zany zoo dies, crafting with you, scallop contours, and what's this one called? Reach for the stars. Now, reach for the stars. We're using the circle. I told y'all this stamp set was going to replace my um, layering circles dies, and it does. Not all of them, but several. Um, this die cutting will already be done for you. This one will too. This one, we're just using the hearts. Um, this one you have to have. So everything will be cut for you with the exception of the zany zoo dies. Yeah. And here is all of the dies we're using tonight. All those that I just mentioned. Yeah, that's a lot, right? Here's the Reach for the Stars, and that's the crafting one. The rest you know. Okay, we're going to add this circle in here. And um, I did go ahead and stamp the alligator with Memento ink on basic white cardstock. And um, I went ahead and cut it out. But like I said, I'm going to say this a dozen times tonight. This will not be done for you. Um, that part, you're going to have to, you have to own the dies, right? Okay. I think that's all of them. So we're using, I tried to keep it to a minimum. Um, lemon lime, no. Did, look, I grabbed Parakeet Party, but I meant to get lemon lime twist. So let's see. Lemon Lime Twist, Bubble Bath, and Gray Granite. We 
might use Parakeet Party, but I'm not sure. Let me put these back here. I don't want to get those confused. Um, is the chick stand for the stamp pads? Mm -hmm. um, the chick stand is to hold your paper piercer or your take your pick tool. Yeah. Uh, Ramona, yes, you can call me. I happily take phone calls. Uh, will you send me an email? Here's my email, and I will give you a time that I can talk tomorrow. Um, I can't do it tonight because David just got home from Denver, but I can tomorrow. Here's my email, okay? Um, so Cliffy says... How do I know where they go? This is a perfect question to answer. And then I'm going to get back to stamping. So how I know where my dies go is I, in the minute that I get my a new die in, I put it on my printer and I make a black and white copy of it. And then I cut it so that it fits in here. Because I can't tell you how many times I've looked at a die and said, well, I don't know where in the world that thing goes. So the little hearts, you can see they're right there. That's going to go with this set of dies. So I always make a photocopy, or not a photocopy. I put it on my printer and make a copy. Yeah. That was a great question. It's a, a great tip, right? Okay, so let's color this thing. Um, I did not do a lot of coloring, just a little bit of um, lemon lime twist and gray granite. And bubble bath yeah okay I'm gonna use the dark one first and I might have used parakeet party on this one because now that I'm looking at it it's like that looks like it's a little more uh, bright we have three greens that look very similar and I'm not gonna complain because I like all three of them but granny apple green parakeet party now par parakeet party that one will be retiring next year, so yeah, but not Granny Apple Green or Lemon Lime Twist. I know I should be using the other tip. I don't have as much control on the... Um, on the wide the wide one some people say they have better control I just feel like I have less okay that's pretty good I mean I could go ahead and color the arms too I didn't last time um, Whatever floats your boat. You can color as much or as little. Same thing on the bicycle. I just did a little minim minimal. I have to tell you what happened yesterday. Brooke and I, I was taking Brooke to the eye doctor yesterday. I told y'all she's got to have eye surgery on June 6th. And we were getting ready to go and we got these new pickles, these new dill pickles that are really, really good. And um, she was going to have one. And I said, well, let me open that for you. And I pulled the lid off and the pickle juice went. Whoosh, and it went all over both my shirts and my bra. I had to go and change clothes before we could go to the eye doctor. I was like, have you ever? <laughs> Crazy. Okay, this is bubble bath. You could use a different color if you want. Um, it's a pretty faint color. And then um, this color again, lemon lime twist. Sorry, I'm sure y'all can hear the rain hitting the gutter now. Okay, we're done with that. And now this is gonna get attached right up here and I'm gonna pop it up with a dimensional. 
Okay, I missed the tip. What are y'all talking about? Let's see. Um, what's color? I use petal pink for, oh no, not, not for a baby color, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, right in here. I don't know why I just love this card so much. I, it just makes me happy. I did go ahead and stamp the image, the greeting too, just to save a little bit of time. Um, and this, we're just gonna add with our Stampin' Seal. And then it's gonna get popped up right here. All the tip about copying the dies. Yeah, I mean, I used to be a hot mess trying to figure out. I mean, I had this whole bowl of dies not knowing where in the world they would, where they belonged. And I was finally like, like oh my gosh, I just need to make a copy. My order that was supposed to arrive has been delayed and it said due to weather, but this weather just started. So I'm like, why is it delayed when it just started storming like an hour ago? <laughs> Maybe it went through some of those towns that y'all mentioned. Y'all had storms yesterday. Okay, what is going on with my phone? I mean, my watch. Okay, hold on. Let me just mute this. Come on. Sleep for one hour. Okay. A mini glue dot. Okay, there you have it. Isn't it cute? I love it. <sighs> okay, so now we're gonna make the second card. We're gonna make the box last. And I went ahead and did some of the steps for this one too to save some time tonight. Uh, if anyone has arrived, um, Late, I'm gonna put, uh, this green cam is a lemon lime twist. I'm gonna put the link again for um, the instant prizes, okay? So now we're making this card. Um, Brookie calls me Mama Llama, and we've had this conversation several times since this catalog came out about is this a llama or an alpaca? And I've gotten tons and tons of emails. It's quite funny at the amount of emails that I've gotten. So uh, I wish I could remember, whoa, which person emailed me, but she said, we call it Alma, alpaca, let's see, Alma. So Alma, yeah. So part of it is for llama and Alpaca and llama, right? Alma. We're going to call it Alma instead of llama. Okay. There's that. Now this layer is going to get glued onto that. And I did go ahead and emboss it with the Basics 3D embossing folder. Use any embossing folder you have in your possession. They will all look good. Because I'm not sure this is still on back order, but it was on back order for, for a really long time. And I'm trying to figure out which side is the side for the adhesive. I absolutely love this stamp set. I love the paper. I just love everything about it. And I think after this week, I should be moving on to something else because I know that y'all are probably like, okay, when's she going to move past this thing? Um, probably this week. I think I'm done. Well, not really, but I know I need to start using some other stuff. I won't always do use the same bundle for stamp class and card club. I just couldn't resist doing it this time. Same thing, I've gone ahead and stamped the images, but your packet will not have stamped images. 
So this time we're using pool party. Hmm. Well, I did not grab my blends. So what are we using? Pool party. Oh, and lemon lime twist. It is so me, isn't it? It makes me so happy. Okay. Um, so let's start with the light pool party. Oh, I better use the smaller tip with this. I don't want to go out of the lines. Ruh row. Looks like I might need to order a new set of pool party. I think in all the years we've had them, though, I've only gone through like four or five sets. I mean, if you compare the price to like other alcohol markers, they're reasonably priced. Is that it? I think so. This little corner right here. And then now we're going to do a gray granite. So I'm going to do, I guess these are the ears. Can y'all hear that thunder? And the arms. After I did the arms and the legs, I was like, well, maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. But you know what? You can color them whatever color you want. You can color them purple, right? <laughs> and then a uh, lemon, lemon lime twist. Okay, we're done coloring. So now this is gonna get added here and the greetings get gonna get added here and I am going to pop up both of them. So I'm actually gonna add the greeting first because then that will help me figure out where to place um, the llama. No, Alma. Okay, now we're going to add these little hearts, and um, I'm going to use liquid glue to add those. Where's my take your pick? Uh-oh, come on. There we go. Now all we have left is the ribbon. Yes, Kim, you can call me tomorrow. Absolutely. Yep. I have a Zoom at 930. Um, I'm assuming you have my number, but if not, send me an email. In fact, let me remove that. I just remembered I should remove all this that way y'all can see more um, I gotta start over so do y'all have something fun planned for Mother's Day let me know what you've got planned use the uh, comment box or the chat box tell me what y'all are doing for Mother's Day I told David that I would like I went to Sam's the other day and they had a massive collection of crab legs and lobster tails. So I told him that I would just like a nice meal and I would like it to be <laughs> lobster tail and crab legs from Sam's. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to do it or not, but I put the request in, right? Okay, so what do you think? I love it. 
So both cards are made, so now we're ready to make the box. And look, it's only, um, oh, Kim, you're going to Tennessee. It's only been 30 minutes, so now we're gonna make the box. Come back here. Okay, let me get the supplies for the box. So after we make the final project, then we'll do the instant prizes. Um, let me go ahead and we're gonna have a little commercial break for just a second. Um, so last week, um, our winners were, these are our winners. So Kathy won the uh, Rhino Ready Bundle, the stamp set and the dies. And Barbara won uh, the Country Gingham Designer Series paper. And both of those have been mailed. Now, Barb S. won the green fabric basket with the chick stand. And Barb, I've not heard from you. So your gift is still sitting in the other room waiting to get shipped out. For um, tonight, or for this time, let me take this off the screen. Let me put the next one up. Where is it? Here we go. So, playing in the rain, stamp set and dies, the pink fabric basket with the sequins, and the matte decorative dots. And the way that you enter to win is as soon as the video is over, you're going to leave a comment on my YouTube video, on this YouTube video. And I'll draw the winner um, on Thursday. I'll post it, okay? What I, the way I did it is I put the winner, the winner's names on my blog, on the project, so on when this project is posted on my website, um, I'll go and update the post with the winners. There was something else I was gonna say, I don't know. Um, oh, and I'll reply to their comment on YouTube as well. So the first winner, the first person's name that I draw on Thursday will get the Playing in the Rain, Stamp Set and Dies. The second person will get this fabric basket. This is a mini one. And this pack of pastel adhesive back sequins. And the third winner will get the 2022-2024 in color matte decorative dots. Okay? You already saw the instant prizes. So um, now let's make this project. Now this time I didn't stamp the raccoon, I cut it out of the designer series paper. So this is what it came out of. I went ahead and die cut it using the zany zoo dies. And I did go ahead and stamp the greeting as well just to save some time. So we are going to score our box. I did not do that in advance. Oh, I can't see y'all's comments. Where are y'all? There you are. Thank you. Ugh. Okay, someone ask a question. Uh, Angie, what is the difference between the two die sets that have circle dies? Uh, no, the circles are not the same. Um, the circles that I'm using, um, the happy birthday, this circle is, um, let me see what size this is. That circle is one and an eighth. The circle, um, on this one is one and a half. So it's an eighth of an eighth, an eighth smaller. This one's smaller than that. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> I know it's confusing, but it's smaller. That's why when the layering circles dies was retiring, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to live without them. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, two, and five. I'm going to put this over here. I need my bone folder. Hi, Cindy. Oh, and this is Cindy's, the, another Cindy's first time. Welcome, Cindy. Did you miss the two cards we just made? Are you just arriving or you're just now 
um, use in the chat box. Okay. One more. Nope. I've done them all. Perfect. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of cutting. So down here at the bottom, I'm going to remove this section. And then I'm going to remove this section. Down here, I'm going to cut up to the score line on each of these score lines. My uh, my lights are creating shadows, so I can't. I'm having a hard time seeing the lines. Okay, now I got to look at my template real quick. Where is it? So I'm going to trim this one and this one, but not those two, okay? So the piece closest to this one, I'm going to trim. And then this one. So we're going to use adhesive here. And we're going to use adhesive on this strip. Ooh, did y'all hear that thunder? So this I'm folding down. And the reason I did that is just to... Um, I did this backwards again, didn't I? No, I didn't. Um, to make that top just like, like there's no, um, there's no raw edge there. So that's why I did that, except I didn't line this up very good. So now I gotta snip it with my scissors. There we go. Okay, so now, that's the back of my box because that's got the seam. So these sides fold in and this folds over like that. So here's my box. Okay, I'm gonna add my adhesive. I'm gonna add that one first just using the Stampin' Seal. And then this one, I'm using liquid glue. Yeah, so I didn't, I normally try to get a blog post done on Mondays, but I had to take Brooke to the eye doctor yesterday and um, oh, she and I both get very stressed out about stuff like that. She's having surgery actually on both eyes and it's not vision correction, it's actually she's got holes in her eyes they typically don't see that in people her age. Um, yeah. Oh, why am I closing that? Now we're going to add the designer series paper. Now, I only cut three pieces because I'm not going to decorate the back. You can if you want to, um, but I'm not. Oh, I just... Okay, so let me show you. You could you. Oh, I hate covering that up, right? So when I was making this box today, I was like, oh, I could cover the sides like this. But then I was like, well, and then I was like, well, I could put him over here and this here, but ugh, that makes me not want to use it, right? <laughs> I'm using it. I gotta make sure that I'm not decorating the wrong part. Okay. Sorry, Billy Goat. We had goats on our farm growing up and they eat everything. They will eat anything. And one time my goat ate my homework 
And uh, when I went to school, I told them that the goat ate my homework and I still got a spanking. Of course, I never did my homework. So that was, that time I was telling the truth. <laughs> Not that I lied before. I just didn't do my homework. Hey, I lived on a 50 acre farm. What can I say? Okay. I like how the edges are, don't y'all? So now we're gonna add the greeting with liquid glue. Thank you. Yes, we do appreciate your prayers, especially on June 6th. She and I are gonna be a hot mess. I, um, yeah, I'm probably as much, I'm probably more nervous than she is because of my disastrous eye surgeries. I mean, I've had three on one and two on another and none of, it didn't, the left eye will never be right again. Um, although that doctor that Brooke is seeing, he seems very thorough. When I was listening to him yesterday, I was like, man, I really wish I could see him about my eyes, but I'm too terrified. <laughs> okay, now, these bags are like three and an eighth by, let's see. I get them at clearbags.com. And this one measures five and five eighths by three and three quarters. And all I'm gonna do is just cut off the top because I want this to be, you know, pretty at the top. So I just cut that flap off, that's it. Now this, this one has two pieces of two Rolos in there, but look, I had to put some candy in the bottom because this bag don't really fit this box. So I'm just gonna tell y'all, I gave you the size and now you can see it's too short. I need a longer bag. So that was what, five and something? It needs to be like seven inches. So I tossed some candy in the bottom of the box so I could uh, make it taller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so this is not going to be perfect. I do have some more candy over here that I can put in the bag. You could also, you know, put some sunny seed drops. You can just throw some candy in there like that. But I'm telling you, the, the, the cellophane bag with the ribbon just makes it so much cuter, right? So I'm going to put a couple Whoppers in there, I think. Will that work? Yeah, that'll work. And then in the bottom again, I'm gonna throw that <laughs> a Reese cup in there and uh, a Hershey kiss just to make this bag um, higher up. Yeah, this is not a Stampin' Up bag. Um, I get all my clear bags from clearbags.com because they're clear, you know, like if you go to Hobby Lobby, they're frosted. I like clear, clear, super clear. I call them pretty clear. Okay. Well, now that's elevated too high, right? <laughs> and then I like to puff up. Make the top poofy. Okay, what do y'all think? All three projects. And it only took 46 minutes. And I did some talking in there too, right? So cute. Uh, so again, um, the class packet to make them is free with a $35 order. If you place a $50 order, you get a roll of ribbon as well. It has to be the host code that's assigned to this and they will not be shipping until um, probably the first week of June because the host code is going to stay open until May 30th. So I'm going to place the order on May 31st. When everything arrives, I'll cut it and ship it out. But you will need the, um, that's not it. Where's the, where's the um, stamp class? Here we go. Here's the host code. 
And it, like I said, it's on my blog. It's already posted over there uh, on today's Chick Candy post. Did y'all see the Chick Candy for today? So Chick Candy over on my website is the Little Monkey stamp set and this really big fabric basket. Yeah. I did get the video filmed on how to make the larger one, but I have to edit it and do a voiceover because, man, there was a lot of noises. Bella especially. Um, okay, are y'all ready for uh, instant prizes? I do want to say this. Hi, Becky. Okay, you're laughing. What are you laughing at, girl? Um, I was fixing to say something. What was it? Oh, if y'all ask a question tonight and I missed it, please send me an email. I didn't intentionally not see your question or I didn't intentionally not answer you. Um, I'm just juggling a lot, right? Um, okay, let's see. We're going to do the, um, hi Roxanne. We're going to do the instant prizes now. Is everybody ready? Um, and then after I do that, I'll go back and look for more questions. Because I know some of y'all need to get on out of here. <laughs> Whoppers are your favorite. I do like them myself. Mm. Okay. Instant prizes. Um, so one, two, and three. I'm going to go close the... Uh, let me put it up one more time. Let me give everybody about 30 seconds here. Um, to go over and enter to win. So the first uh, chick candy, instant chick candy, is um, the Lost Lagoon. The second one is Pretty Peacock. And the third is Lemon Lolly. And I'm going to uh, share my screen so that y'all can see the winners at the same time as me. Um, but i got to open up Chrome. Okay, so we have 105... Um, 105 people have entered to win, and I'm officially closing registration. Or, what's the word? I'm closing the form. And now I'm going to copy all the names. I have to create a spreadsheet so that it gives me everyone. So, okay. Come on, copy, and then now Wheel of Names. Okay, let me share my screen. Can y'all see it? Yes, you can, right? I didn't see a thumbs up, but I can see the on the little. Here we go. Winner number one. Congrats. I'll do a recap of the winners um, in just a minute. Okay. Remove. Here goes the next one. Kathy. And then one more. Okay, J O A twenty. Then Okay, I got all the names wrote down. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. And then now you guys can see, uh, yes, David just got home right as I was going live. In fact, he pulled into the driveway um, literally four minutes before I was going live. So I ran upstairs really quick and said, I'm going live in two minutes. And then I ran back down. Yeah, so, okay, so winner number one now let me put the form up of where you claim your prize. Mm. 
Nope, that's where you enter. Here we go, claim. Can y'all see this? This is where you, oh, I should have made it a darker font, shouldn't I? Let's see if I can. There we go. Can y'all read that now? Because I need your mailing address. So here's winner number one. Number two. Number three. Sorry, my handwriting is awful. I know. It's chicken scratch, right? Okay. And if you can't figure out that form address, you can always use my... Um, email address too but if you use my email please put in the subject line candy because yeah it sometimes it's a little difficult okay now we're gonna uh if, if y'all can just stick around for a couple more minutes i have some lovely 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 cards to share with y'all i forgot to mention that earlier before i went before I started making the projects, that I have some really neat cards to share with you. Um, so the first card that I'm sharing is from one of my downline Gigi. I love this card. I have made it before. But look, she used the Zany Zoo. Isn't this cute? Thanks, Gigi. And thanks, Stephanie, for y'all including me in the team card swap. Um, I'm very lucky to have y'all. I appreciate y'all. This is another uh, card from a downline. This is from Gabby, and this is her swap. I just love her writing. She wrote me a nice note inside there. The next card is from Anne. Isn't this so pretty? So this is another uh, new catalog swap. Very nice. And she's using those new dies, right? Yeah. The next one is Stephanie. Stephanie, you're here if you're not already gone. OMG, I love your card. Yeah, look at this. It's so beautiful. Look at this. Yeah. These little spools. The next card is from another downline, Laura. Is it that nice? She used the, um, this is bubble bath with the Moody Mauve ribbon. Let's see. The next one is from Denise. I think Denise won some uh, designer series paper and she sent me this thank you card. Isn't this neat how she did that? She cut those panes out and then used it back there. It's very different. I haven't seen that before. Uh, the next one is from Renee. Renee, if you're here, oh my gosh, your card made me so happy. Look at this. Uh, so cute. I gotta make this card. Yeah, I'm totally gonna be casing it for sure, darling. The next one is from, um, is it Michelle? Look how pretty this is. I love that embossing too. And the next one is from Kathy. Another downline. Thank you, Kathy. You know what? I didn't want to get this set before I saw your card. And then I saw your card and I'm like, well, wait a second. Now I want it. Very nice. The next card is from Julie. Isn't this such a happy card? She won uh, one of my fabric bags, and she loves the fabric bags, so she sent me this 
card. I love how she did the little uh, stitch lines with her marker. And the final card is, this is from Stampin' Up. This came with my pillow, get, get, pillow gifts box um, for the Norway trip that I'm not going on. So I still got the card. I still got the pillow gifts. And it's a cute card, so I thought I'd share it. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Are y'all still there? Thank you all so much for the card. Yes. Oh, I, oh, Stephanie says she shouldn't have watched it because she hasn't seen them yet. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm trying to stay on top of showing the cards as soon as they arrive instead of letting them stack up because I've, I've, had, a, I've had people say, did you get my card? And I'm like, I'm so sorry. Yes, it's in a stack to show. So I'm trying to do a better job about showing them as soon as they arrive instead of uh, later. So uh, Stephanie, if you'll remind me, um, I'll wait till June. Yeah, sorry about that. I so appreciate y'all including me, even though I don't participate in the swap. I can't imagine adding one more thing right now to my to-do list. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Um, all the details about tonight's projects will be over on my blog tomorrow. Um, don't forget uh, the packet, the class packet to make these is available all the way until the end of the month. So uh, May 30th, right? Thank you, guys. Okay, I'll see y'all next week. Thank you.